In August 2015, the Bleach manga ended. Everybody said they would cancel due to how rushed and poorly written the ending was. However, I want to sit down today and ask you guys a question. Was the Bleach cancelled? Can we definitively say Shonen Jump pulled the plug on Bleach? Now, what we need to consider first is that the form of Bullbring Arc, Bleach was one of the big three. Okay, the big three, for those of you new to the community, um, some of you may not know this, because the term isn't used often anymore. It used to be used every single week, multiple times a week, but there are the th big three, the three most popular anime series in Japan, or manga series at least. At least the three most popular shonen titles. One Piece, which was the king, nothing ever touched it. And then there was Naruto and Bleach, who were constantly fighting for the number two spot on the ranking. And of course, Naruto normally came out on number two, but Bleach was always giving it a run for its money. And there, the, and there were these things every week. We would have the chapter of the week. And it would always be one of the big three. It was never a fairy tale or Toriko. The three were around, but it was always chapter of the week. And you want a couple of examples of this? I think uh, Naruto 631, One Piece 700. And uh, I think a great Bleach chapter would be the, the chapter where. Uh, I don't really know my Bleach chapter, but if the chapter where Ichigo knew Final Getsuga, that would have been a chapter of, that was a chapter of the week, from what I understand. I was in the community back then, I wouldn't know, but from what I understand, that was a chapter of the week. But the point is, is that Bleach was a big deal. It wasn't a threat to One Piece, but like, Oda and Kishi did acknowledge Kubo's existence, and they were like, okay, this guy could be better than us. So they constantly had to make their stories better, and get to better parts in their story. Kubo made Shonen Jump a lot of money, and he was a big name in the industry. Like, like, even everybody in the anime community knows what Bleach is. Like, they, some people don't know it's still going, it's still, it's still going on in August. Some people thought it ended years ago, but everybody knows what it is. Bleach is a really big theory, and I have a hard time believing Jump would just turn around and say, Kubo, you're done. Screw you. No, oh, but I made you so much money. I made you, like, thousands of yen. Screw you, Kubo. We don't give a shit. Get, you have five weeks to finish, pat your bath, and get the hell out. You're fired. You need to see, I don't see that happening. Now that it, what I think happened is that Jump was pressuring Kubo to finish, and they, he wasn't making a lot of money off of Bleak. Like he wasn't, Bleak was not making a ton of money at the moment. It was not doing well, and it is very possible that Kubo decided he wanted to end Bleak. It is very possible that Kubo decided, screw this. I've been doing this for 15 years. I don't want to work with the deadline. Okay, you have to realize, a mangaka writes the manga every single week. Those chapters are not pre-made. Every week, most I think Oda, Ichida Oda, and Akira Kurama has said they get about... Th Kurama said he got about three hours, I believe. I believe Oda gets four. Ki Kurama said he got like three. Kishimoto came out and said when Minaruto ended, I'm excited to go on my honeymoon. And, uh, Kichi had been mad. Kichi got married, like, halfway through Naruto. Like, he, if you want an example of this, Kichi was married, got married, before the introduction of Minato and Kuchi in a backstory in the Orange Frog flashback. So they, and you know you're Naruto, you know that roughly four years before the, three, four years before the series ended, the guy went three years without a honeymoon, and he wanted to go on one. That's how rigorous and, and Toriyama and Oda get like three hours of sleep a night. It's a very, very rigorous job, and I feel like it does need to be discussed. Is it possible that Kuo decided Bleach isn't doing well, people are not loving it, and I don't want to do this anymore, and that I'm ending Bleach in five weeks, and Jump wouldn't object. Now if Shishimoto came out and come out and said that, they'd be like, no way, you'll never work here again. 
will never publish any of your work again. You are not ending this theory. But with the amount of money Bleach was making in Jump, which wasn't a ton, I can definitely see them take seeing that as an out. It would be a way for them to respectfully let Kubo go. So here's what I just throw up there. What if Bleak wasn't cancelled? What if Kubo decided to end it? Now, that is a possibility. I just feel like it needs to be discussed because a lot of people seem to just say it was cancelled. What I'm trying to do with this video is explain to you guys that Bleak was never officially cancelled. Jump never came out and said, we cancelled Bleak. Kubo had never come out and said, Bleak was cancelled. If somebody tells you that, that it had been officially stated by Kubo or Jump or an editor that Bleak was cancelled, they're lying. That there no such interview exists. So, the question is that, what is the likelihood of Kubo ending it like that? Incredibly unlikely, especially considering the story that was released a couple of months ago about the boy who died when, like, Bleak was one of his last sources of en enjoyment while he was sick. And, yeah. Like, and he asked Kubo to finish Bleak the way he wanted to finish it. So, that is very unlikely that Kubo would end it that way. Another reason it's very unlikely that Kubo wrote Bleak for 16 years. I can guarantee you that is not the ending he wanted. The bullshit with the Silver Arrowhead. Don't get me started on that stupid Silver Arrowhead. And just go straight through Yuha. He loses all the power. And easy goes like, Guess you got that, Joe. And he like cut Yuha in half. And like, so like this millisecond where power don't work. It's, it's a really bad ending. And I don't think it's what Kubo would choose. And I do think Jump canceled Bleak. I don't think it's very possible they canceled it and they just don't want to come out and say it because of the fact that Bleak was incredibly popular and it probably doesn't look good when they treat an employee that, was, that did such a good job and made them so much money when they treat him like crap. Like, people would not be happy if they found out Tekne Kubo was being treated like shit. Now, you can imply he being treated like he had a job. We know he is. Like, we know he's getting unfair treatment, but there's currently no way to prove it. There's a heavy amount of evidence. There is a heavy amount of evidence. And it's, it, it, what, it's kind of like when you see a kid that uh, is really thin. You were to see a kid that was, like, really thin and looked like he was undernourished. You would be able to say he's undernourished. And you could say that's strong evidence that he could be being neglected by his parents. But that could also be strong evidence that it could also be that his parents don't have enough money to feed the kid. It is very possible. The point is that while there's incredibly strong evidence pointing in the direction that it was cancelled, don't go around telling people Bleach was cancelled. Because it wasn't. Bleach was not cancelled. I was guilty of this as well. Until I realized, until recently, I realized Bleak was never concerned to be cancelled. This never happened. So I felt like it, I'm going to sit down and ask you guys, did you guys think Bleak was cancelled, or, or did you think there's a possibility Kubo had had enough with the rigorous work schedule of being a mangaka and just wanted to end it? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below.